today I'd like to talk about sitting down to play the double bass. It's really important how we are in our body. Well, the first thing is that our head is up and relaxed and able to move easily. And the next thing is what we do with our pelvis. A lot of us stick our pelvis forward. What we really need to do is as well as sending our head up, we need to send our sit bones down. Remain really relaxed, so our chest not raised, and sending our sit bones away from us in that direction towards our heels and our head going up as if there's a piece of string pulling the back of your head up and all the time feeling your neck being free. So the next thing is to move from your hips. And this is a really useful thing later for playing the bass. Moving from here and keeping the lower back still falling that way and not coming forward so that and then we go into what's called our monkey position so then you lower your sit bones still keeping your head going up until you find the chair and then coming back from your hips so that then you're completely upright feeling that relationship there we want to find a neutral position where we are on both of our sit bones so our balance can move we may want to rotate So it's really important that when we do any action, we don't lift or turn our shoulder in. You see that classic position of shoulder forward, feel the tension there. So the main thing is keep this open and wide and your back open and wide and keep the length at the front of your body. And then you want to be getting this thing here, your right hand, your bone hand, either German style or French style. You want it to be getting to the position where the string is and the bridge. So it's how do you efficiently move there from the hips and then turning all the time trying to maintain this. One of the things that I've discovered helps me is having my foot on a yoga block. This one was eaten by the dog. It still works though. So I just put my foot on there and then I can still keep the same posture. Um, it just helps me have the bass at an angle. How to sit with a double bass. The most important thing is to bring the instrument to you and not yourself to the instrument. It's about how your body is set up, but being relaxed and then really being even on your sit bones so you can move from side to side. And then I prefer to use a, a yoga block. If you imagine your center line, um, I like the double bass to be very much to the left of that. And I'm supporting the double bass with this knee here. I use a, a bent end pin, which takes a lot of the weight off the thumb. It's really just a question of, can I get this thing here, my hand with the bow in it, to this thing, the bridge, where you want to play. It's about a very small movement. If you're at the side of the instrument, you can move from the hip bones forward, keeping the length there. What you want to maintain is this shoulder being open and wide. So lifting the bow and turning, and then moving from your hips so that then you can address the right part of the string. And then if you need to move forward towards the bridge, you can very easily do that. Setting up to the side of the double bass means that the spike is outside the line of your toes and then leaning in to you. And you can use your knee to move the bass in towards the bow. So your bow remains very free, your shoulder remains very free. And then moving the whole upper half of your body from the hips. So if you imagine this, this line, that everything moves in one piece there. And then you might find to get nearer the bridge that you have to turn a little bit, as long as you keep that access. So for example, moving here, 
than to play near the heel. Near the bridge. And as you shift, just move forward from the hips in advance. 